Welcome to Inside Science TV. They're creepy, they're crawly, and have often been portrayed in the movies as deadly. There's a rumor going around that some kind of spider might have killed Sam Metcalf. Doubtful. But chemist Greg Holland thinks poisonous spiders have been given a bad rap. He's collecting venom from tarantulas to learn more about their toxic poison and how it can actually help people. Some of the proteins that have been discovered in venom can be used as drugs. Using nuclear magnetic resonance, much like MRI imaging, scientists can see tiny structures in spider venom. Their complete three-dimensional structure has not been solved, and so we are working towards uh, solving the structure, which will allow us to better understand how they work and function in the body. Researchers want to learn more about certain protein structures in venom, which they hope could turn human pain receptors on and off, like painkiller medications. Structure directly relates to how something functions. So in order to understand its function, you have to solve its structure. Researchers have also learned that venom could help control some heart rhythm problems called arrhythmias. But why use venom from these spiders? Tarantulas are fairly large. They produce a fair amount of venom compared to smaller spiders. So it gives us a larger source. So the next time you spot a spider, I have a terrible fear of spiders. Don't be afraid, they may help you someday. I'm Josh Lebowitz reporting. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.